is the Earl Beck residence. Alright, my name is Alexandra and I was just calling on behalf of Ted Cruz and I was going to thank you for your support and I wanted to make sure that Ted can still count on you to talk to him. Can Ted Cruz continue to count on your pocket support? And you go, bingo. Traditionally here in Iowa, the ground game begins in places like this. Cafes and diners where candidates meet one-on-one -on -one with voters and then follows up with them later to make sure that they turn out to caucus. But in a year where all of the conventional wisdom has been upended, will the fact that Ted Cruz has the most sophisticated ground game in the state matter or will Donald Trump run away with it on Monday night? Uh, for those of you who have much better handwriting than me, uh, we need a couple of signs made today, so... Uh, Let's see, Monday through Saturday, office is open 9 to 9. Um, so we get up, we have the rally downstairs, uh, do the morning prayer, and then we head out to Camp Cruz, and uh, volunteers are either block walking or making phone calls. And, well, you um, guys look all moved in here. Yeah, and uh, we've got twin beds. <laughs> twin beds. Yeah. Oh, because it's, it's storm just like a dorm style, style yeah. right? I've got to have the sparkly frame, right? <laughs> well, we had him on top of the Christmas tree. That was the tree topper. <laughs> oh, I love it. It's very organized here. The Iowans uh, that are for Ted are in mass. I mean, they're out. They've got precinct captains. Almost in all, well, I think it's 98% of their pre voting precincts that are going to have the caucuses. Who knows how many calls we did yesterday? Woo 24,000. You know, I am one that person to person, one on one, to me, is the most convincing way of doing it. And I think the ground game is going to be important. Do you think he'll win it? I do. I absolutely do. You think Ted Cruz is going to win on Monday night? I do, absolutely. Does the ground game matter in a race where you're dealing with someone who has five million Twitter followers? I don't want to disparage the potential ground game that Donald Trump may have. Um, we've just seen him do things that have been uh, completely out of the mold and extraordinary. So I would not discount a ground game that we haven't seen yet. But when we're talking to an people, invisible ground game. an invisible ground game, there could be some kind of spontaneous Twitter eruption and people all come charging to the caucus. If that happens, uh, well, first, if that happens, then it will be such a political phenomena that no one could possibly beat him. I think Ted Cruz is in an excellent position to succeed because his his constituents, the people that support him, these are the traditional caucus goers. Can Ted Cruz continue to count on his caucus support? 